Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome to My Way Tarot. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a general energy reading for June 2021 for the sign of Leo. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. Okay, so just however it resonates for you. You know, whatever way the roles are, just switch it to what is best fitting. Okay, so I'm currently using the Radiant Rider Weight tarot deck here today. And just bear with us, I'm going to shuffle the cards and find out what's going on for you guys, okay? Right, thank you so much. What can we get for Leo's, please? For June 2021, please. Where can we start off? Please, thank you. So we have the Six of Pentacles. So either you or someone that you're dealing with is wanting to encourage a more equal give and take relationship or partnership. How beautiful is this? With the sun, we have your energy here, straight out. We can see that you're in your power. Beautiful, okay, so we have the hermit. We have the star, Aquarius, beautiful. We have the four of wands. This is so beautiful, guys. Wow, look at these cards. Okay. We have the Queen of Wands, fantastic fire energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles, interesting. Okay, let's see where this goes. Wow, Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled. Page of Wands, so much fire energy here. Seven of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Fall, fantastic. Okay, we have the Five of Cups. Okay, lovely. Uh, we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Five of Wands. And last but not least, we have the Four of Cups, okay. So I hope that you can see the cards. Um, it's meant to represent a love heart. Um, <laughs> so I hope that's what it looks like to you guys on camera. Um, so bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. So I'm really feeling either you or the person that you're dealing with are wanting to charge forward straight towards you. And they want to take action and move forward in your direction or you want to move forward in their direction. Potentially, they want to come forward and offer you some sort of truth, but potentially this person, either you or this person, are healing right now or taking some sort of rest so that the, you know you or this person is able to come forward towards you and gain the stability. Potentially, there may have been um, a lot of anxiety. Either you or your person has been feeling quite trapped and they've had to go from, you know, this Eight of Swords energy to the Four of Swords to then having this Knight carry the Ace of Swords. So throughout a particular process of healing themselves or you healing yourself, you're becoming, you know, um, more direct about what it is that you want, gaining this clarity, this truth and having a breakthrough to move forward to where it is that you want to be or your person is. Okay. So, um... What we have here, Leo, so you could obviously, you could be dealing with another Leo here with the Sun card. Um, we have the Hermit here with the Virgo energy. We have Aquarius here with the Star. And we have um, the Fall energy here, which could either be Aries or Aquarius. Um, I feel that all signs are pretty much here. Actually, there's no swords here, but we have, did see on the underlying, um, the Knight of Swords. So there has been a lot of, you know, stress in relation to this connection. But things are definitely brightening up here. I mean, we've got some really beautiful cards here on the table. Okay. So either you or your person are looking at things from a, a much more brighter perspective. Potentially you or your person's either yearning um, to move forward towards you, maybe they've been in particular conflict about how to come forward towards you. There could have been a period of time of separation. There's 
most likely someone, either you or your person, however this best resonates for you, have had to really look within themselves and to really establish, you know, what is the truth? You know, we saw with the Eight of Swords earlier and then the Four of Swords and then the Knight of Swords, like somebody has really kind of been stressed previously um, to try to search for the truth. And the truth is, is that they may or you have been stuck in your own head trying to establish what it is that they or you need to do to move forward in your life. And with this beautiful star energy here, like you or your person have been divinely guided to heal, especially when we have this hermit and then the star. You know, any healing is completely necessary. So whatever is being healed on the inside is eventually going to heal everything else on the outside. So, um, which is really quite beautiful. So either you or your person are wanting to reunite with you and potentially patch up things to do with the connection. Maybe they see you as a very confident go-getting person. Potentially they are trying to gather up the confidence and feel more worthy of coming forward towards you because they see you in this really strong, confident, intuitive energy. And you're just kind of going after what it is that you want or your person is trying to get themselves established in the way so that they can come forward towards you in the way that they wish to. Um, with the double wish fulfillment card here with the star and then with the nine of cups, you know, they themselves or yourself are trying to renew, you know, feel basically rejuvenated in gaining this inner clarity about what it is that you want for yourself. What is it that is going to give you the emotional fulfillment that you are desiring in your life? Um, quite potentially this person, um, they could be desiring to send a particular message out to you to actually express and say, look, I want to actually stand up for the connection now. I genuinely want to stand up for what I believe in and I'm making plans to come forward towards you. I'm just gaining my confidence right now. I just want to feel a bit more um, stable, I'm getting financially secure in myself and in my kind of material world so that when everything is kind of up to par as it were I'm able to eventually take this leap of faith to come forward towards you. You know we see how this full energy is literally staring up at this this individual here who's got the two wands and the world in their hands. You know they're feeling very you know, confident and happy and, you know, sure of themselves knowing that they are ready to take a leap of faith and have a brand new beginning and kind of embrace things. But they definitely feel that either you or your person needs to kind of re-establish a few things that are going on in the, their life. There may have been a period of time where either you or your person, there could have been... Um, there's definitely a sense of separation and that you're wanting to reunite with each other. You or your person may feel like you've not been able to, like all things have lost, like they want to come forward towards you if they haven't done so yet. Um, but potentially they feel like, you know, they've been crying over spilt milk or either you have, because obviously with these three cups here down that have been spilt over, we have the two of cups behind this individual. So therefore this person may have been focusing on potentially a third party situation or you have been in another situation and therefore not necessarily able to focus on a true soulmate, um, higher divine kind of connection, potentially twin flame connection with the 1111 card over here. This person, either you or your person, may have felt this kind of, you know, a sense of lack. So they want to come forward towards you and be really idealistic in kind of sweeping you off your feet. And potentially they feel that if they were to come forward, that maybe this cup, you know, will just join the other three in the front. They, they won't be kind of accepted in the way that um, they want the cup to be accepted. Potentially as well, I'm really feeling that um, this person, either you or your person, you live at a distance from each other. 
they or yourself have been relatively stressed or dealing with outside influences about the idea of going towards you or you going towards them. I'm feeling as well that other people may have been trying to give them in like particular offers and they've been fighting the other offers off. Like they're not ideally interested. I feel very much that this person wants to just send messages to you. They've got their plan in sight. They know that they feel a lot more determined to kind of push forward with your connection. And that's why they want to start a brand new beginning with you with maybe a a more equal give and take relationship. Potentially if there had been a third party situation, you or your person um, might necessarily not have been in um, an equal give and take situation. So that's potentially why there's been, you know, uh, frustrations. And really getting the sense as well that, you know, whatever is being offered to this person, if it isn't you or, you know, however other way it's interpreted, you know, it just doesn't necessarily give them that same excitement. You know, they feel very kind of emotionally detached from what other offers could be there available on the table. And I'm really feeling that this is, it's quite obvious that this connection that you have with each other is a destined connection because you know, we can see with this this whole reunion of inner clarity and wishes being fulfilled and, you know, there are definitely pure intentions to move forward and I'm just getting that there is, there will be a major breakthrough coming in for you. There's going to be a huge turning point with a lot of hope, you know, and there's going to be, I'm just getting... There's going to be some sort of very unexpected offer coming your way. You know, either you are going to give this particular unexpected offer or potentially they're going to give this to you. I think if I said that right, I can't, can't even... All I'm just getting so many messages that I'm trying to, to make sense of, of it all for you. I'm seeing that you guys are incredibly intuitive though. You're very much in your power with this sun energy, the queen of wands. And you're going after exactly what it is that you want in your life that is going to give you that ultimate fulfillment. People are going to be fighting to get a chance to be with you. And potentially if you are a divine feminine or divine masculine in this, it doesn't necessarily matter which way. But you could be very much in feminine energy where you're just attracting all this really beautiful positive vibrant optimistic energy into your life and it's just allowing yourself to just sing with joy basically you know you're finally getting that sense of feeling balanced in your life and potentially you've had to really go within either you or your person you know has had to really establish you know healing their inner child with this sun energy here and especially with this hermit energy here it's like you or your person have had to have the spiritual kind of illumination, ascension even. And this has been guided with the star energy. You know, there's been this beautiful sense of healing and finding out what your purpose is or your person's trying to establish what their purpose is. And it's asking you to have faith in relation to this connection, but also for your own life because wishes and blessings and miracles are coming in through, you know, the spade falls, bucket falls, it's, it's coming in and it's going to be so beautiful. And it's going to allow you to finish and start off in this beautiful new cycle in your life. There most definitely has been disappointments in relation to your connection. Obviously with this Five of Cups energy, I'm really getting quite drawn to that. Potentially there may have been confusion with this particular connection, if there has been outside influences, it doesn't necessarily have to be a third party. It could potentially be family members, friends, work colleagues, you know, people kind of pitching in what they feel is best for you and what you should be doing in, in relation to your life and how to move forward. But I'm really feeling that whatever blessings are coming your way, it's going to really enable you to kind of 
you know, be very generous with helping and assisting other people as very much as well as yourself, which is really quite stunning, okay? So this looks incredibly positive. So what I'm going to do is actually pull a few cards from the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle deck and see what messages that we've got here for this beautiful reading for Leo for June 2021, please. What can you get for us, please, angels? Oh, what was that? No, so nothing came out there. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give it a good shuffle. What can you get? Oh, no. okay. Not today. Not dealing with hurt, avoiding conversation, cool person, boundary, still angry. This is so fascinating because there may have been a point where, especially with this five of wands energy, you've just decided, look, anything that's going to come in and cause me aggro is going to cause me upset. I'm just going to be like, no, not today. You see how this person is sitting here kind of contemplating these three cups as much as this person is looking at their three cups. There could have been like a before and after situation where an event or situation occurred and what was actually, you know, fulfilling at one point, you know, it was short lived because the cups fell over and obviously there's empty cups. Um, so potentially anything else that is coming either to you or your person's, you know, way is not actually giving them the fulfillment, especially with this defensive, potentially defensive energy up here. So what else have you got for us, please, for Leo for 2021? Oh, okay. So we have kisses, unconditionally, unconditionally, <laughs> can't even talk, sorry, it's Mercury retrograde, isn't it? <laughs> um, uncon unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Okay, so it kind of came out sideways. So potentially, you know, offers may be coming into you and you may not necessarily be overly interested. Um, people may want to give to you because they see you shining and see you kind of in this bright, beautiful light and you've gone within to reestablish what it is that you want for yourself in your life. So therefore, you're now having to be more discerning about what is coming in and what it is that you want for yourself. But potentially as well, I'm really feeling that, you know, with this twin flame energy here with the four of wands, there's going to potentially be a reunion of some point where you're going to genuinely realise that we'll have this equal give and take of affection here. We've got that just written here and then obviously... The foundation of the reading at the bottom is the Six of Pentacles. Okay. So what else have we got here? There was another card, but it fell on the floor right on the other side of the room. And I won't be able to get that, I'm afraid. I can't, it's not turned over. So I've been told to ignore it. Okay. Wow. So we have Axe here. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment and abandonment. Okay. So this is actually really interesting. So I said earlier that potentially there has been a separation between you and your person. There has been some sort of breakup that things will be healed. Things will be sorted. Yeah, just have faith with Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Hesitation. Potentially either you or your person's going to send a little message and just to say, look, you know, I hope that you're well you know, been thinking about, thinking about you and I just want to see if you're around potentially to, to come to a party or some sort of celebrations. Yeah. And if you go, it's going to be really quite beautiful because underneath we have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Then we have abundance, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss, and then I like you. So it's really quite, and then engagement ring, oh my goodness, okay. So this is this is really quite stunning. So yes, there's most definitely been a separation, but I really feel like with it kind of landing here, it's going to get healed and potentially a reunion will be coming in. Um, I'll tell you what, 
just want to have another card on this axe and find out a bit more to do with this. What's this axe about, please? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so we've got golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship and love bombing, but it came out reversed. So there could have been potentially the separation was needed um, for you or your person to kind of heal certain behaviours, certain aspects to your relationship. Okay, and then at the bottom of the deck we have camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past and make memories. Yeah, so potentially either you or your person have been stabbed in the back. There's been heartbreak, there's been separation to do with this situation, but it's evolving, healing the inner child and growth and what we said earlier about healing the inner child. So I'm really getting the sense that the separation between you has was necessary to kind of heal aspects of the connection, but I'm feeling that's as this came like out over here, it's potentially to do with, um, you know, rejuvenation of this kind of twin flame journey. Okay, so I'm going to pull from the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. So what have we um, what have we got? Sorry, I'll just shuffle the cards a little bit for Leo for 2021, please. Okay, and I'm also really getting the sense that either you or your person is just kind of deciding anything that doesn't serve you or them is going to be cut off. So it's going to stop the pattern. They're just going to stop in their tracks and go, look, you know, you guys can fight over whatever it is that you want to fight over or can say whatever you want to say. But I'm keeping my distance. I'm contemplating what it is that I want in my life. This is also a card to do with meditation. So maybe they um, are just very much looking within right now, especially with this hermit energy about what it is that they want for themselves and kind of anything else that comes along. It's like, I just, you know, I don't want to have one-sided relationships anymore. You know, potentially this person, either you or them were very, you know, selfish. I mean, it's, it's quite unusual really for, you know, we all have our shadow sides, but... Leos are quite well known to be very, you know, uh, generous and, you know, open hearted and big hearts, basically, you guys. So um, let's let's see from here. Let's let's get some more clarity. Wow. Wow. OK, here we are. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. So I'm really getting the sense it's a high level soulmate or twin flame energy. Yeah. Express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So either you or your person of what you don't see coming is going to be um, potentially a little message to say, you know, would like to kind of resort things. I'd like to rejig things around so that we can, you know, have a more balanced potential relationship with each other, even if it is necessarily just a friendship. What else can we get here, please? Thank you. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So either you or your person have got family issues that they're trying to fix right now. So they want you to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I mean, we have the sun energy here. We have the star. We have wishes fulfilled. We have new beginnings with the fall. And we have the, the kind of celebration cards and also, you know, moving forward, following your heart in relation to love. Yeah, stay optimistic, you know, stay optimistic. There's lots of chemistry to do with your connection, potentially a lot of flirting. I mean, we've got the little messages here um, and either you or your person are going to make the effort. I'm going to take uh, one more card, please. Thank you. Separation. What did I say? Time apart from your partners on the horizon, and that was back here. Separation, that's where it landed. So there has been separation between you, or there still is separation. But either you or your person are very much focused on your finances right now. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. But there are romantic feelings between the two of you, and this could be the one. You have already met the romantic partner that you seek. Okay? So lastly, um, just for a little bit of advice, I'm going to pull from the Soul Journey cards for you. Okay, well first of all, give them a shuffle. 
So what can we get for our lovely Leos for June 2021, please? What advice can you please give Leo? Okay. Thank you. Oh, nearly. Oh, here we go. Purpose. Oh, that looked like it wanted to come out as well. I, wow, okay. So... Sorry, I'm just knocking everything over here. Purpose, I know what I'm here to do and success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. And this is so stunning because, you know, with you, you or your person look, looking within, establishing what it is that they want to go, you know, they're searching for the truth, they're getting the guidance that they need to move forward and ascend. And you, you're both, either you or your person, are being helped on that level. And then we have peace at the bottom of the deck. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So any negativity that's been here in the past or like kind of in the current energy, you know, when you kind of, you know, sit and meditate and look within and kind of take the time for yourself, you'll reestablish and be awakened to what your purpose is. And by doing that, you will be successful and able to move forward you know, peacefully in the way that it is that you want to, to move forward, okay? As long as you stay honest and true to yourself and to people that you're communicating with, you know, there's open communication. I feel like everything is going to work out really beautifully for you, okay? So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please like, share and subscribe and we'll speak to you again soon. Thank you so much. Bye, Leo. Bye.